The big question we're asking tonight is, is politics of SOPs and freebies in national interest? To discuss that, we are joined by Priyanka Chaturvedi, Congress spokesperson, Sudhanshu Mittal, BJP spokesperson, Feroz Bakht, member of the Aam Aadmi Party, Dr. Sunil Sinha, economist and director India Ratings and Research with Fitch, and Nirja Chaudhary, senior journalist. I welcome you all to News Night. I'll begin with a neutral point of view with you, Nirja. Why is it that so often we see political parties promising poll stops and freebies and manifestos and just ahead of elections? This is happening across political parties across the country. Because they want the uh, affection and support and loyalty of people to whom they are offering the freebies, subsidies. And the way development system has worked, uh, what should have gone to the poor and the needy has not actually happened. But I would like to make a uh, point here. You know, freebie technically is something you give free, an item or a good that you give free. But I w would you say a food security bill is a freebie? Would you say what Chhattisgarh government gave rupees one, two, three is a freebie or a subsidy? Uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's, there's a very fine line here because is it part of a policy? <coughs> you, for instance, we can say Jalalita is giving mixes uh, uh, at the time of elections, before elections, before the model con code of conduct comes into uh, play. Uh, maybe a freebie, but it could be part of a policy mm -hmm. to help women. I would say giving grinder to a woman will alter the quality of her life, mm -hmm. will give her better time. So, are you going to love women? Saying this should be so, seen through the prism of the beneficiaries. No, I think it has to be seen as part of the policy of a political party. When you mm -hmm. look at it, is it part of that whole? You can say a laptop given by Akhilesh Yadav's government could be part of a policy to help youth who don't, who can't afford a laptop. But I would say yes, but accompany it with training them also on how to use it. Mm -hmm. But you often can, often that accompaniment is not there. Not there. Or cycle given to the girls by Nitish Kumar to enable them to go to school or college. Certainly empowers them. Otherwise, they may not be able to walk those six, eight kilometers. But when go. laptops are given, is it ensured that there is 24-7 electricity at the same time? No, that, and does that, that not expose step. the electoral motive further of that step. sort? But let's not look at freebies only as something, something very bad. It's part of the policy <coughs> of a whole of a party. Mm -hmm. It's a much more complex thing. Uh, I think or some you may way say no, 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 no food security bill. Why are you giving food security bill in either Chhattisgarh or at the centre? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'll come to you, no, Mr. We are yeah. digressing. You know, this this entire debate in this, is in the context of the electricity subsidy which has been announced by the Amadi Party. That's right. And if you look at this debate from that context. Then we'll be able to understand probably... No, we will come to that. We will so come to that. But the bigger right. picture here is, yeah. are offering freebies with the sole intention of winning elections in national interest? Do you think it's an economic interest, uh, Dr. Sinha? Well, let me put it this way. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, in a society, uh, you know, everyone uh, does not earn uh, the same level of income. And even when uh, you grow at whatever rate you may be growing, the distribution of the income doesn't uh, reaches uh, the different state of people in the same proportion. So at some point of time, in the overall uh, interest of the nation or maybe the <coughs> society, um, at the policy level, you can decide uh, to undertake some kind of an income transfer. Now, this income transfer could take various forms. It could take the form of a subsidy. It could take the form of some goodies or whatever it may be. Uh, but ultimately, uh, the whole issue must be seen from the perspective of some point uh, which mm -hmm. Nirja was mentioning that uh, even when you are extending <coughs> it, is it backed up by <coughs> the fact that the real benefit of that is accruing to uh, the people to whom it is given. Mm -hmm. That's so point number one. What is most the number important two is, is that it reach the, the And the number two is that whatever you do, is it fiscally sustainable in the medium to the long term? Absolutely. I mean, if your overall objective is short term, then it is a recipe for disaster. Okay, so fiscal responsibility is one thing and whether it is going to the underprivileged, uh, Mr. Bhakt, the most... Yeah, yeah. Uh, the biggest <coughs> criticism, in fact, against the water sop of the Ahmadni Party government in Delhi is that it is reaching those people who are 
already part of the privileged class. 50% of the households who have uh, uh, individual water meters, who have water pipes are going to benefit and not the remaining 50% of the households who don't have these connections, who are victims of uh, the water mafia. So what good is this subsidy for? Uh, look here, Munmun, uh, before this I would like to comment on one thing. You were discussing freebies and all these things, lollipops, what not, larges, populist. Let me tell you one thing. We should actually welcome whatever Aam Aadmi Party has done. It is trying its level best to bring the public out of the way the, uh, the common man has been suppressed and as a result repressed and depressed finally. So the party is doing its level best and let us appreciate, let us but give us some the time. the government have and, prioritized and about water, improving about water, water system, infrastructure huh. before, uh, it, shouldn't this have been prioritized? Uh, yeah, yeah, listen, listen. Arvind has worked very hard on grassroots levels in order to find out how water can reach the poor people. <clears throat> you are right, there are no pipelines in so many colonies, in so many poor hutments. Efforts are being made and who is responsible for it? Uh, in fact, for, for the last 15 years, Sheilaji is responsible but for this. But aren't, the, aren't the beneficiaries years, now, Mr. Bhakt, aren't the beneficiaries now best, those people who can, who can actually uh, afford paying 700 to 800 rupees per month? Right. What is the harm if some people who are getting the benefit of it, they, are, they already have the pipelines, they already have the meters. But why is the taxpayer's no money subsidizing However, those who can afford effort, to pay is the question. See, see, that is the next step. Give us some time, right? Do not fall back... Uh, Fall upon uh, us, uh, you know, that heavily. Give us some time. Water will reach to each and every doorstep to hutments, to all the poor people of Delhi. Not only those people which you are actually discussing. Water will reach. Give us some time. Okay, right? Mr. Mithil, There's a lot of, lot, of, lot of harm that has been done to the system by these big tag parties, that is BJP and Congress. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mithil. I had expected... Uh, you can laugh, Mr. Uh, Bhakji to mentioned BJP because he himself confessed for 15 years it was the Congress which was doing it. But how could he leave us? Thank you so much for that. Now let's, let's address the main issue. We've had announcement of 50% reduction in the prices of electricity hmm. for 200 units and up to 400 units. Now this is a blatant lie. I am amazed. You know, it was said that from 3 rupees 95, 90 paisa, it has been reduced to 195 for 0 to 200 units. The fact of the matter is that it was only 2 rupees 70 paisa. On 26 July, Srinivati Sheila Dixit had reduced the prices already to 2 rupees 70 paisa. <coughs> so it has only been reduced by 75 paisa. Mm -hmm. Saying no, this 50%. No, no. Allow me, allow me, ah. sir. Let me complete the Congress news, and BJP are allow, in allow, the Allow me, sir. Mm, so, right. A. So, this is a lie. 200 to 400 units, they said from 580 it has been reduced to 295. The fact is the price is only at 480 and it has been reduced to uh, 295. So 37 percent, no, no. that is 28 percent. These are irrefutable facts. It's 210, facts. Not, if, not 295, I mean, it's 210. Go on it to is the 295. Net and find out. Sir, so I, have, I, I, I have the document in front of me. Actually, I'll, what I'm just, I just would like to see these uh, documents. Yeah, I'll show you. Just allow me to say that. Mm -hmm. The issue is, this is not what was promised. Let's look at electricity. Three things are promised. There's manipulation in the accounts of the electricity companies. There are faulty meters and there's no competition. Within, 100, uh, within four months, out of these three, these three factors, we shall reduce <coughs> the price by 50%. Subsidy was not ever promised. Mm -hmm. Anyway. The promises the, were sweeping in nature, the, the, you are the, saying. No, no, the promises were relating to malpractices and manipulations. Mm -hmm. And this was relating to good governance because, like we also said, there was a connivance of the electricity companies with Sheila Dixit government. Today, the LG has ordered for the CAG to audit their accounts. That is an allegation. But, no, no, no. Today, today, she of has, course, the, the audit the, has the been same, announced. The same LG who represents the center has announced that the CAG shall audit the accounts. He is a constitutional have, authority. You know, the, the, this could have been done. Obviously. This could have been done by the Congress government also. 
But Congress government took refuge by behind the fact saying no, no. it is sub judicial. But the bigger what question we're asking is, Mr. Mittal, Mr. Mittal, you are hair splitting. You are hair splitting. You are, you are, are hair splitting. Are, you, you are hair splitting. You're trying to corner you the Aam Aadmi Party government on that. the manifesto promises, and 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 you could be partly right in what you are saying. But the question here is, the question here is, is this entire trend of how are we upset, Mr. Mittal? Mr. Mittal, the question is, is the trend of offering poll freebies that is the issue? Is, See, is that yes, the best yes. thing to do? Look, look, Shouldn't yeah, the government so focus on governance on, on going ahead it. with the right policies and programs to ensure ground. that all the people are educated and they get their jobs and yes. they can afford the uh, things at market price. So Dhan Shoji is trying to misguide people in from his uh, calculations, be, which I would be, like to in check democracy. after this program. Yeah. In democracy, I would like to see your papers. Your objectivity is from has to have not. That's why, you know, it's a, at the end of the day, the poorest of the poor is your priority. If you look at the freebies, what are they directed towards? They are meant to be directed towards people who are underprivileged and in order to empower them. You see, because when they say we talk about equality, the underlying concept of equality is equality is always amongst equals. In order to make them equals, you have to uplift them. But Mr. Mr. Mittal, why is there not so much focus of these political parties on, on ensuring uh, good education and ensuring employment of the See, people? these are not mutually da exclusive. Dan, Dan, it is Mumbai on Dhan highlighting Dhan. these, Mumbai, these uh, Mumbai, sobs Mumbai, and promises. Mumbai, the Mumbai, BJP Mumbai, governments in the past in Karnataka elections itself offered free laptops, free rice, free power for agricultural pump sites, but it did not offer you know, employment for, for, you, for you, all and sundry. See, Why? You, have, you have to understand see, these are not mutually not exclusive. We give any freebies, we you know, give there, facilities there are people in which we are giving. Who are given special privileges at the same time education. There's so much of social sector spending on education. There's so much of uh, social sector spending on uh, food. There's so much on every aspect of social welfare okay. of the people. So really saying this is happening and that is not happening is not true. At some point or the other, there is a special focus which political system places on certain underprivileged sections of the society in, uh, in order to in, uh, you know, empower them and enable them to be equals. Well, is the fair. intent really to see, grab votes see, during so elections? Is no, no, Mr. Mittal, let me bring in the Congress also. Ms. Chaturvedi is with us. I'll come to you, Mr. Bhak, Mr. Bhak, just a second. Are, let's let's bring in the Congress spokesperson into the discussion. Ms. Priyanka, today a letter has been shot off by a Congress MP, uh, Sanjay Nirupam, to the Maharashtra Chief Minister, threatening an agitation if uh, he does not emulate the Aam Aadmi Party government model. Why is this domino effect happening? Okay, uh, Munmun, I'm really short on time because I have to go on another channel, so I'm really sorry about not being able to take any questions or being able to participate in this debate because the audio levels are not clear as well. Now, here's the uh, thing that considering that, uh, you know, Delhi has done something like this, every MP uh, would probably come and believe that, you know, uh, their, their uh, district could do better and, uh, you know, the, the, the citizens could benefit. But we also need to keep in mind that, uh, you know, we cannot have knee-jerk reactions. Uh, what is applicable in Delhi may not be uh, applicable in Mumbai or maybe any other city. Bangalore, but the Congress Karnataka. MP Sanjay Nirupam so, yes, does not believe that. Yes, so, no, Mr. Nirupam has voiced his concerns with regards to that and he has uh, uh, sent a letter out to the CM. But we also need to keep in mind the bigger picture as to whether the same, uh, you know, terms and conditions apply to a uh, power supply situation in, in a city like Mumbai. So, there are two different cities and th two different parameters that go across it. Maybe an audit would help to ensure that uh, the cartelization that he's mentioning uh, does not happen and people get the benefit of it. Fair but enough. yes, but this uh, trend rather than of, uh, falling offering into this entire uh, populist uh, uh, game, we must also need to know what is more practical. <laughs> Well, the Congress is also uh, knee-deep in this uh, trend of uh, offering uh, SOPs and freebies in manifestos. In your, uh, in, the, in your manifesto for the Karnataka elections, you promised 30 kg of rice for rupee 1 per kg, loan waiver for farmers, uh, laptops for college students. The focus should be on good economic governance, isn't it, rather what, than on what promising about these about unless we in Delhi? No, absolutely. No, I, I, mean, I, I agree elections. that, uh, no, can I, can, I, can I make a point, please? I haven't been interrupting anybody here, so just let me make my point. So, Munman, my point being that uh, when we talk about loan waiver to farmers, 
well farmers would welcome such a move considering that uh, they do face a lot of other stress uh, related to you know the monsoons the the temperature the climate controls etc so if maybe it a popular you might feel urban centers might feel it's a populist measure while it's it's a welcome move in parts who are looking for something like this now i would say long term benefits are more important than uh, the short term uh, you know this is apart from the karnataka thing uh, short term announcements like i would say the aam aadmi party instead of going in for an audit has first uh, talked about subsidizing rates uh, where electricity is concerned we will see how it works out in the longer run it shouldn't end up being a burden on the uh, exchequer mr bhat you see whatever so i'm going to go uh, i'm really sorry i have another uh, another all show right, to go right. for uh, so i wouldn't see, really see, be able to pass thank you so much please because she would not like us. to yeah. answer whatever i ask her you see congress in, in fact uh, she she is leaving because she can't uh, defend congress congress Let's has not fallen flat yes. munmul ji please Cong congress has failed lock stock and barrel <laughs> and uh, there are hardly any people to uh, you know defend congress on the screen let me tell you whatever she was talking about they are you know the way they have been you know uh, criticizing us the way they have been trying to find loopholes it's all baseless it's it's unfounded we are trying to do something whether it is water whether it is uh, uh, electricity later on we would also But be doing so no, many no, things that's why it is not it, it is not just about uh, a slugfest between the congress and the aam aadmi party there are legitimate questions which are coming up see, on whether the underprivileged are being benefited you. by your sops Definitely. and where is the money going to see, come from especially all, when it comes to all, your part sop mun mun i would not accept this word freebies these are not freebies these are facilities and each and every common man the the poorest of the poor will definitely get the benefit You're of it you just asking for convincing time. answers it's to only questions it's only 3 days i think it's only 3 days let us uh, let us uh, be there for a month and water will reach all these poor electricity will reach all these poor without being a burden on the exchequer as sudanshu ji all uh, said earlier that obviously you know later on these poor people will would be charged never and ever the question remains I, how the that? question remains how did i say that first <laughs> okay yes <laughs> i i I'll give you the last I word on this, this and this story yeah. yeah no hmm. one thing is burden on the exchequer you know who do you put the burden on the rich or the poor that is a policy decision that any party has to decide or a government has to decide if last year you could give 5.5 lakh crores of subsidy to the well off sections and to industry then can't you give this much to the poor so the question and is really is number it really two to really come to the defense basically pani was really an issue those who needed the most that is the question that's right you can now I, I, you you can say 700 liters is too much make it for 450 liters which is an inter international uh, yeah 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 in some yeah. norm in some places 220 liters that, per person that that is something that is a debate yardstick. should take place on so that was but success this, success, this, this, i think see, this is the average pani is an issue on which their government has come to power and unlike other parties who give the freebies at the end of just before the election actually to give them their due they're doing it soon after they've come to power they are actually mm -hmm. fulfilling what they promised mm -hmm. exactly so you have like mr no, dr singh we are doing what we Mun -mun, promised mun mun ji can i say something see this yeah. is unfair because this is not what they promised you have to read the document no no the document clearly yeah. specifies 1 2 3 First audits be uh, electricity faulty materials. He is not entirely wrong. And allow me. Allow what you delivered is, is not clearly, no, no, exactly what clearly what says. It clearly says the fifty percent. It manifesto. clearly says the fifty percent comes days, out of we have done more these things. We it never says it shall come out of uh, subsidies. Okay. So, but this is I'm, not. This I'm not is not. This. So far, this is I'm not. This is not a three-day government. There is a lot of time. It is not from the public exchequer. it is not going to weigh heavily on the poor or the rich man okay. it will okay. be if the government has perhaps, perhaps mr mittal or the promises which may come through are absolutely misguiding i'll check these papers see yeah. these okay. papers okay. i'll, okay. I'll okay. send you a reply okay. thank okay. you okay. Okay. definitely okay. just the last word on uh, uh, to you uh, dr sinha that how would you have liked had there been a proper time frame uh, for uh, the implementation of all these uh, sops and that have been promised would you have liked had there been greater clarity on whether the real aam aadmi is going to benefit from this and where is the money exactly going to come from shouldn't there be clarity on these issues absolutely. before uh, rolling out these promises absolutely absolutely i mean uh, let me uh, put the question this way uh, when you are talking about meters a fairly large section of people may not be using electricity 
where the meters are installed. Not just about the Delhi I'm government. Just, I'm, just, about, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking about that. Similarly, when you are talking about uh, uh, water supply, I mean there are many households where water does not reach. So how will you really ensure this 700 kiloliters of uh, you know uh, uh, water uh, per household or whatever may be the measures? Mm -hmm. So unless and until you have the back end infrastructure in place really reaching out to the poor may or may not uh, uh, be there. On the other hand, it may uh, ultimately uh, uh, lead to a situation uh, where there may be pilferage, there may be uh, uh, a burden on exchequer, but without uh, the real benefit uh, reaching uh, uh, mm -hmm. for whom it is actually uh, meant for. Mm -hmm. I so guess, I mean, my own, let me, 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 let me just, let me just last point. So I guess, I guess, whatever is being announced, I think, you know, it is announced more, I mean, as I heard Mr. Kejriwal saying that probably I just have 48 hours. So I might have to make the announcement and do the rest of the things. And the tanker mafia cannot be tackled unless you have pipelines there and pipelines which supply water. Do you know the average water supply time is only two hours today? Mm -hmm. Tanker mafia is only by Congress you and know, BJP the tanker leaders. mafia is there because yes. there are no pipelines. And that is the responsibility of the government. And this tanker mafia is going to go behind the bus. Long, 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 all these people who are leading this tanker mafia, ahead. they will be improved. We, we, will, we will support them you, so if they are able to deliver. And this okay. water will okay. go to the poor. Okay. That, that, that should come as a sigh of relief for, to the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, the BJP is saying that they will support you if uh, you are delivering really intent on delivering all the promises that you have made. On that note, I thank you all. Sudhanshu Mittal, Dr. Sunil Sinha, Nija Chaudhary and Feroz Bhakt for joining us. Thank you, Manmohan Ji. Thank tonight. you. It was a rather animated discussion, but the question remains, uh, is politics of SOPs and freebies in national interest or should a greater detailed homework be done by political parties and more convincing answers be uh, given by political parties to the questions that arise like of fiscal irresponsibility? We'll still do a break.